Hi, in today's video training of PHP, we will be learning about PHP regular expressions. So what is a regular expression? A regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern. When you search for data in a text, you can use this search pattern to describe what you are searching for. A regular expression can be a single character or a more complicated pattern. Regular expressions can be used to perform all types of text search and text replace operations. It has a simple syntax. In PHP, regular expressions are strings composed of delimiters, a pattern, and optional modifiers. For example, look at the variable exp, which is equal to, and within double quotes, we have a string forward slash tech weber forward slash i in the code above the forward slash is the delimiter tech weber is the pattern that is being searched for and i is a modifier that makes the search case insensitive the delimiter can be any character that is not a letter number backslash or space the most common delimiter is the forward slash but when your pattern contains forward slashes, it is convenient to choose other delimiters such as hash or tilde sign. PHP provides a variety of functions that allow you to use regular expressions. The pregg underscore match, pregg underscore match all and pregg underscore replace functions are some of the most commonly used ones. Function and description p reg match returns one if the pattern was found in the string and zero if not p reg match all returns the number of times the pattern was found in the string which may also be zero p reg replace returns a new string where matched pattern has been replaced with another string let's first look at p reg underscore match function the pregg underscore match function will tell you whether a string contains matches of a pattern. Use a regular expression to do a case insensitive search for tech weber in a string. Let's create a PHP file to demonstrate this. Let us call it php pregg match dot php okay. okay let's declare a string visit tag weber and let's declare a pattern tag weber i i means case insensitivity and let's print out e pregg score match here we give the pattern and here we give the string or the subject okay let's save this file and run it in the browser okay here is the file here okay which directory i mean Okay, I'm in the wrong directory. So let me move this file. PHP pregg slash var html rnd php courses. Okay. And I'm also going to go into that folder. Okay, let's refresh this. Now we have this file here php pregg match.php okay i have executed the file and you see the result is one because the pattern found tech weber string within the subject or the string at hand let's change this tech weber to something else like hello save the file and run it again we have zero here
Okay. Okay, I'm editing the wrong file, so it's PHP, PREG match. Okay. Going to change tag Weber to hello, save the file and run it again. You see we have got zero because the pattern didn't return anything. So that's how the PREG match function works. The next function we will be looking at is PREG match all. The PREG match all function will tell you how many matches were found for a pattern in a string. Use a regular expression to do a case insensitive count of the number of occurrences of AIN in a string. Let us create a new file for this preg match all.php and let's define the string or the subject and you can say the rain in Spain falls mainly on the planes. So we have lot of AINs here, AIN here, AIN here, AIN here and AIN here. So we have around four occurrences of the pattern AIN. So what if we want to file, uh, find out the number of occurrences within the string so let's define a pattern forward slash AIN and I for in case insensitivity. And let's run the function preg match all. And here is the pattern. Here is the subject. And we don't need it to give the third parameter. It's optional. Save the file. And I'm going to run preg match all. You see we have got four here because there are four occurrences of the string AIN in our subject string. That's how the preg match all function works. The next function is the preg replace function. The preg replace function will replace all of the matches of the pattern in a string with another string. Use a case insensitive regular expression to replace Microsoft with W3 schools in a string. So for example, we have a string or a subject equals visit Microsoft. Then we have a pattern forward slash Microsoft in small letters, then forward slash II means case insensitivity. Then we have echo P reg replace pattern W3 schools and string, which will output visit w3 schools okay let's run let's create a file for this example php preg replace dot php string or the subject is visit Microsoft. Then we have a pattern equals forward slash Microsoft forward slash I for case insensitivity. Then we have echo preg replace. We have the pattern. Then we have the replacement w3 schools and at the end we have the subject that is the string so what this function will do it will replace microsoft with w3 schools let me convert it to tech weber and now we will get visit tech weber instead of visit microsoft it will replace the keyword Microsoft with Tech Weber. So pattern is the word that will take place within the main string. The second argument Tech Weber is the new word that will be that will replace Microsoft and the third is the string that is the subject that is the main string that is to be manipulated. So let's run this program PHP 
preg replace okay see we have got visit tech weber because we replaced the string microsoft with tech weber using a pattern and regular expression okay let's look at regular expression modifiers modifiers can change how a search is performed i perform a case insensitive search m performs a multi-line search patterns that search for the beginning or end of a string will match the beginning or end of each line u enables correct matching of utf encoded pattern brackets are used to find a range of characters expression for example the square bracket abc find one character from the options between the brackets then we have cap sign abc find any character not between the brackets then we have 0 to 9 find one character from the range 0 to 9 let's look at meta characters meta characters are characters with a special meaning pipe sign find a match for any one of the patterns separated by pipe sign as in cat dog fish then we have a full stop or a dot it is used to find just one instance of any character then we have the cap sign finds a match as the beginning of a string as in hello then we have the dollar sign it finds a match at the end of the string as in world then we have the backslash d it finds a digit then we have backslash s it finds a white space character and then comes backslash b it find a match at the beginning of the word like backslash b word or at the end of the word like word backslash b then we have backslash u x x x x it find the unicode character specified by the hexadecimal number x x x x then we have quantifiers quantifiers define quantities n plus matches any string that contains at least one n n steric matches any string that contains zero or more occurrences of n n question mark matches any string that contains zero or one occurrences of n n curly braces x matches any string that contains a sequence of x n's n curly braces x comma y matches any string that contains a sequence of x to y n's n curly brace x y uh, comma n matches any string that contains a sequence of at least x n's note that if your expression needs to search for one of the special characters you can use a backslash to escape them for example to search for one or more question marks you can use the following expression pattern equals forward slash backslash question mark plus and forward slash okay you can use parenthesis to apply quantifiers to entire patterns they also can be used to select parts of the pattern to be used as a match use grouping to search for the word banana by looking for a ba followed by two instances of na so let's look at this example we are going to run this example and I'm going to create a file for this php preg grouping dot php okay we have a string or you can say the subject and within that string we have apples and bananas okay then we have a pattern equals forward slash ba followed by na in parenthesis then we have two in the curly braces then we have forward slash i echo preg match and we are going to pass in pattern and a string 
save the file and I'm going to run it php pregrad grouping we got one on the console because we found the matching ba with ba na with na and there are two occurrences of na within the banana that's why one was returned by the pregrad function that was all about php regular expressions i hope that you have learned the basic concept of php regular expressions and how they can be used in your programs i hope that you have liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in php by the way you can download the code of this video training as well or, or uh, as well as of all the video trainings of php from my github repository